Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce, another Thanksgiving game. We're in the prime time now, Thanksgiving night. We're talking Patriots, Vikings, let's go. Welcome to The Sauce. The Sauce. Sauce. Hey, get the Sauce. All right, New England on the road in Minnesota here. The line is Vikings minus three, and the early public is definitely on the Vikings. But look at the sharp money. Sharp seem to be uh, leaning New England early. So 55% of the money is on the Patriots as of Tuesday morning. So they dropped the line. We're now looking at Minnesota minus two and a half. And we're looking at a clear pros versus Joes game. Public is pretty heavy on Minnesota. Sharps are pretty heavy on New England. Uh, this is as of Wednesday night. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be Minnesota plus 2.98. So that's a five and a half point lean towards New England here. All right, let's break this matchup down. And why don't we start off with some Bill Belichick trends? I'm not the biggest trend guy, but check these out. Um, Belichick, 29 and 15 against the spread on short rest since 2003. It's pretty impressive. Here's another one. In the last 20 years, Belichick is 27 and 10 against the spread the week after allowing seven points or less in a game. Like I said, I'm not the hugest trend guy, but I thought those two were interesting, so I thought I'd start the video out with them. So let's break this matchup down, and we'll start with the Patriots defense. This pass rush is absolutely insane. Uh, the Cowboys pass rush has gotten all the hype this year, but the Patriots pass rush is right behind them. I mean, second only the Cowboys are right behind them in adjusted sack rate. And the Minnesota Vikings have a situation right now when it comes to pass protection. Their best offensive lineman by far, Christian Darrisaw, is out for this game. Not only is he their best offensive lineman, but analytically, he's actually their best offensive player as far as the Vikings yards per play when he's on the field versus off. It goes number one, Christian Darrisaw, number two, Justin Jefferson. Yeah, this dude is that good and that important to this offense. Check this out. And this stat comes from Sports Info Solutions. In the last two weeks, when Christian Darrisaw is not on the field for the Vikings, they are allowing a 54% quarterback pressure rate. They can't keep anyone out of the backfield without this dude on the field. Darrisaw left the Dallas game early. He only played 18 snaps. And look what happened to Kirk Cousins in that game. I mean, how is the same exact thing not going to happen in this game with the Patriots pass rush every bit as good as the Cowboys? Who's going to block Matthew? Judon on this team. I mean, keep in mind, this is Kirk Cousins on Thanksgiving night. Kirk Cousins in a primetime game, who's, I mean, we all know his history. We'll get to that in a second, but you're taking away his best offensive lineman and most important blocker. I mentioned Kirk Cousins in primetime games, so let's bring up some of those numbers. We already know what it is, though. He's been terrible in primetime forever, but let's look at his recent performances. His last five primetime games, ready? 163 passing yards a game, just 5.1 yards per attempt. Just 55% completions, six touchdowns, six interceptions. That's not just me. That's not even mediocre. That's poor quarterback play. Now, to be fair, on the other side of the ball, I don't expect the Patriots offense to do much of anything either. Um, I like Ramondre Stevenson, but since he took over as a starting running back, I mean, he's had five games. He's averaging just 3.58 yards per carry. He hasn't been efficient at all. And the Vikings play really good defense against the run. So I really think they'll give New England's offense a hard time. And I know Mac Jones looked good last week against the Jets. 23 of 27, 246 yards passing, 9.1 yards per pass attempt in the cold against a good Jets defense. He deserves credit. He played well. But do you really trust Mac Jones? I don't. Overall, when it comes down to it, I don't trust either offense in this spot, which is why I'm taking the under and I'm taking the points. Give me the under at 42 and a half and give me New England plus three half unit each. If anything changes with those bets, I'll let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you want the final tickets that we give out for every sport, which is bet of the day, parlays of the day, top bets, that kind of stuff, head over to kylecurms.com or download the Sauce Network app. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hopefully we make some money today. I uh, hope all of you enjoy your day. Let's have a good one.